favorite phones of all time has been the Realme X2 Pro. It's the phone that put Realme actually on my radar. And ever since the launch of that phone, that's one of the phones that I want to get, aside from the Redmi K20 Pro and some others. But the Realme X2 Pro was just one very awesome phone. But then the issue is, it wasn't sold in Nigeria exclusively because Realme had not moved their brand to Nigeria. So you can imagine my shock when I just woke up one morning, opened my Twitter and found out that Realme Nigeria is now a thing. I literally almost shouted because I was so happy. This is actually a very good thing. Bringing the brand closer to us makes it easier for us to readily access the phone and get it in retail markets and I also push the popularity of the phone in this space. So I am very happy for that. Now. Aside from Realme actually coming to Nigeria, they teased an event for a few days that was supposed to come up August 3rd. And the event is the Magnetic Innovation event. Now, Realme in this event introduced their newest technology, the 50 watts MagDart charging, which is essentially MagSafe but faster. That, that's essentially what it is. It's not exactly MagSafe, but faster. There are some new design works and some faster technology in it that enabled the phone to charge phones faster. The main highlight of the event was the MagDart that enabled you to use 50 watts of power to charge your phone, which will give you some ridiculous wireless charging speeds while also not being detachable from your phone. The more minor announcement was the 15 watt version of this which is very very thin it's surprisingly thinner than Apple's MagSafe which was actually quite surprising to me like they say you can stack four ATM cards together and it's still as thin as that which is very shocking how do you cram 15 watts charging technology into something that thin It'll be something that'll be cool to see if I can actually get my hands on it. But the main highlight of the event was the 50 watts charging. Now, I have to be honest, when I saw the 50 watts charger, I was like, that is a bulky boy. Like, it's extremely very huge. It reminds me almost of the Infinix phone's 160 watts charger, but I believe this is actually smaller. Now, to give Realme credit, the only reason why it's this bulky is because of the cooling system in this MagDart. It's supposed to enable the phone to stay cool, which will enable it to charge faster for longer. But then it doesn't still change the fact that when your phone reaches the 80% mark, it's going to reduce itself back to at least 10 watts of charging to preserve the battery health. So the 50 watts will be sustained for something like 0 to maybe 66% at most. I don't think it can sustain 50 watts peak all the way to 80%, but it's something that I want to see in person before I actually give my final verdict on the charging speed. I know there may be some people who'll be like, Apple did it first, so it doesn't really matter. All these companies are just copying Apple. Honestly, I don't care. As long as you implement it better than the originator, then there is no problem with you copying it. People just started copying the camera squares and I hated them because personally to me they didn't look good. At least we started to see some variety in some of these camera squares. One camera square that I absolutely love is the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra's camera square. That, that square is beautiful. The S21 Ultra phone comes next. The Redmi Note 10, I sort of have a love-hate relationship with. I'm not really sure, but it's slowly growing on me. Now, in this case, Realme has made their 15 watts Magda charger to charge faster than Apple's MagSafe charger. I believe on stage they said it was about four hours to charge up the iPhone's battery, which is a 2,000 mAh battery. Now, that is all good and fine, but then like I keep saying, if you're just going to push out a 15 watts charger, it's 
technically on paper still just the same thing as what Apple brought out. But then they decided to bring out a new technology, the 50 watts mag dart charger, which is faster. Yes, it actually is bigger. I may be heavier. I have not seen this in person to know. But it's innovation. And that's what the event was supposed to do. It's supposed to show us innovation. After all, Realme was among the first companies to bring us a 64 megapixel main camera. They also talked about how they were the ones to bring about the starry nighttime time lapse thing. I don't know why people do that, but okay. So yeah, I am very pumped to see this as it slowly gets trickled out. I believe it will start trickling out next year or maybe this year. And it'll be fun to see. And now that Realme is in Nigeria, we'll start to see more of these phones pushed into Nigeria, creating diversity in the Nigerian market and making competition in this country a lot more intense, which is also beneficial to you and I as consumers. So I'm happy to see that Realme is here. I'm happy to see that they're innovating, even if it is technology that has already been introduced so it's not really that groundbreaking. It's still an innovation over what was. And it makes you wonder what could be. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.